Today we're making a beef and broccoli stir fry that is not only affordable and effortless to prepare, it's also incredibly delicious. This recipe makes four servings, each coming in at 478 calories, 44 carbs, 43 protein and 15 fats. I've added the recipe and ingredients below, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. Now let's get into it team. First, let's start by prepping the ingredients. Take one head of broccoli and what you want to do is chop this into bite sized pieces. Once done, this should give us 2-3 to three cups worth. And now onto the steak. Today I'm using a 600 gram rump steak. First what we want to do is trim off any excess fat that's on there. I'm talking the large chunks. If there's still small pieces here and there, that's fine. Once we've removed all that excess fat, what we want to do is slice the steak against the grain. Cutting it into long strips, roughly 3 to 4 centimetres long and about 2 centimetres thick. And here's a hot tip. If you freeze the meat partially for 30 to 60 minutes before prepping it, it makes it so much easier to cut. Trust me, it's an absolute lifesaver. And that's the prep of the main ingredients. Now onto the sauce. To make the sauce, take a mason jar or small bowl, then add in a quarter cup of beef broth or water, a quarter cup of oyster sauce, one teaspoon of sugar, two teaspoons of toasted sesame oil, one teaspoon of soy sauce, and then mix it all in together. Once done, put this to the side and grab another bowl. In that, we want to put a tablespoon of water, then a teaspoon of cornstarch. Mix this well, then put that to the side also. Now onto the cooking. In a waffle frying pan, heat one teaspoon of olive oil over a medium heat. Then add in the broccoli and cook this until tender. This will take roughly four minutes or until the broccoli starts to turn a darker green. Once it's tender, add in the ginger and garlic and cook for 30 seconds more. Then you can take the broccoli out of the pan and put it onto a plate and put it to the side. Now take your time and give the pan or wok a quick wipe down. Remember we're home chefs here people. Once it's ready, add in one tablespoon of olive oil and add in the steak pieces. We want to season the steak with salt and pepper. Remember that we have the soy sauce, which is going to be salty, so don't go overboard. Just a few cracks or pinches of sweet. Now we want to cook this for three to four minutes without turning or touching the steak. When you hit that three to four minute mark, flip them over and cook them for a further three to four minutes until they're browned up and cooked through. Once ready, add the broccoli mixture back into the pan and cook for two more minutes. Then you can pour in the oyster sauce mixture over the beef and broccoli, mixing it all in together and then you can cook for a further 30 seconds. Now we want to add in the cornstarch mix and stir this through to help thicken the sauce. Then we're on to the final step, which is to add in the egg noodles. And once you've got these in, mix them through so the sauce is evenly spread over everything and then cook it for one more minute. Now this is the end of the cooking and it's time to be served up and packaged. This recipe makes four servings, so grab four reusable containers and divide up the stir fry evenly across them. As always, you can just go by sight, knowing that they'll average out over the week. If you really want to though, you can weigh them out, it's up to you. And there we have it. We have four ready to go lunches that will last up to three to four days refrigerated in an airtight container. This is a great option for meal prepping, with each serving coming in at 478 calories and a near even split of protein and carbs. It's great for weight gain or weight loss depending on your goals and also a great way to save money and time. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've added the recipe and ingredients below, and please remember to like and subscribe for more content. Catch you next time, team.